the reason why we are here is because he died somebody scream from the bottom of your belly he is bad paid in full he paid it in full somebody raise your voice shout until your neighbor will wonder is it only you that came to service shout unto the lord shout unto the lord shout unto the lord give the lord a loud raise your right hand and shout fire say because he died because he died for my sake whatsoever that is not of god i command die die say today whatsoever that is not of god around my life i command die 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 open your mouth and make it a prayer Let your amen turn the louder. I announce you will leave from this service and you will discover that all challenges are no longer there. Let the efficacy of the blood of Jesus let it begin to work for you. Work for your family. Work for your children. Work in your career. Work in your business. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. Let the weight of guilt be rolled away. Let the weight of sin be taken away. I announce the blood speaks. 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 Let the blood of Jesus speak louder than any voice of condemnation. Any voice from your father's house. Let the blood and let the voice of the blood let us speak over your soul. Speak over your future. Speak over your career. Speak over your business. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen rise. Let your amen Amen, Tonda. People of God, lift up your two hands. And once again, let me hear you thunder the blood of Jesus. If a man was going to die, and I reckon that the last few words he would say to his children must be very important. Am I communicating? People of God, if a man was going to die, I reckon that the very last things he was going to say, his children must pay attention to them. Most of the time, his enemies might also pay attention to them. So in this service, remember I said it's going to be a very short one. I am going to relay again, you already know it, the very last words of Jesus on the cross. How does it concern us? What does it have to say to us? Look at your neighbor and raise your right hand and prophesy to your neighbor, said the blood speaks for us. Now your neighbor might be wondering whether it's his own blood or your own blood. Please help me look at your neighbor, said the blood of Jesus speaks for us. Can you thunder it louder? Say the blood of Jesus speaks for us. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. So, so many years ago, many years ago, Give me my key. That is if you can get it. So many years ago, <clears throat> there's a song I heard while I was in the university, sung by someone. And it registered so strong in my spirit. Are you sure that is my key? Mm. Mm. Okay, yes, that's right. You laid aside your majesty and gave up everything for me. So far at the hands of those you have created, so you took my sin and shame when you died and rose again. Now, today, you reign, heaven and earth exalts you. I really want to worship you. Ah.
this one like a rose trampled on the ground you too Sing it one more time. Like a rose, trample on the ground. It was Jerry you were thinking about. You too. I'm growing up as a child. I remember the song. All the blood. speaking for you how did he call you a saint he was the blood that was speaking for you how did he make you new again he was the blood that was speaking for you how can you raise your voice even in prayer and call on god he's still the blood he has never lost his power he has never lost his essence he's still the blood how did he throw away your past how did he bring you into the future is you avenging over your enemies it is still the blood 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 let someone turn die louder amen lamb of god seated at the right Wherever you are, 
Please take your seat in the presence of God. And like I said, if a man was going to die, I believe that the very last words he will speak will be important to him, to his family, to everyone around him. I believe that the very last words that any man, a dying man will speak would either represent a form of template for the generation that he's leaving behind. And people of God, listen, let me pray over everyone here. When you get old, when you reach 100 in good health and you're about to die, you will leave your family with wisdom and direction. That amen sounds like you really want to die young. I say you will leave your family with wisdom and direction. Let your amen thunder louder. Let your amen rise higher. Even if you have signed a contract with premature death, because he has already died for your sake, at the sound of your amen, you are not dying anywhere. The power of premature death is broken over your life. It's broken over your career. Let your amen turn the louder. And people of God, if you will run with me very quickly, take your seat in the presence of God because we're just going to be looking at different things. You will not forget that the very first words he spoke was in Luke chapter 23 verse 24. So the media, you're going to run with me. Luke chapter 23 verse 24. Uh-huh. And Pilate gave a sentence. Is that what I'm looking for? Um, okay. Uh, go to the book of um, um, tw Luke 23 43. 23 43. 423. Mm, that's it. Okay, Luke 23 34. That's right, not 24. Luke 23 34. Luke 23 34. 23 34. Thank you. People of God, can we read it together? One to go. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast his lots. Please help me look at your neighbor. And say this to your neighbor, say, Father, forgive my neighbor. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at another neighbor, say, Father, forgive my neighbor. He doesn't know what he's doing. Now, if you understand this, can you thunder it louder? Amen. But that's not where I am going to. He understood at the back of his mind. This is how it affects you. That this was a spiritual journey. So, Jesus was clear enough to understand that you see what these people are doing, patting my raiment, spitting at me, hitting me with all the strokes as much as they can. This is not about them. This is because of a spiritual battle. Am I communicating? People of God never judge destiny by the reason of circumstances or situations happening around you i need you to understand that life is more spiritual than what you are facing did you hear what i just said right now if you wake up one morning and someone who used to be a friend becomes an enemy don't be in a hurry to give it back to them there are chances that there are spiritual battles behind them. Am I communicating? If you wake up one morning and you discover my marriage suddenly is under attack, most of the time it is not about what is going on, it's about what is going on behind the scene. If you have lived in good health and you woke up one morning and you received a medical report that negates the health that the Lord has promised you, Jesus said it's not about them. It's about battle. It's not about them. It's about the reason why I came. It's not about them. It's not. It's mostly about my assignment, which I had already declared. I want you to know at that point in time, Jesus was not going to get angry with the executors. Jesus understood where the battle is. Am I communicating? Help me look at your neighbor. Say it's a spiritual battle. I, I need you to talk to your neighbor again. Say it's a spiritual battle. Look at your neighbor. Say look beyond the physical. Look beyond the physical. Look beyond the physical. If you understand the thunder, a louder amen. 
can I remind you that most of the things your husband is doing, he's not doing it with his senses. Most of the things that are happening with your children, they are not doing it with their senses. All of a sudden, the boss that used to love you begins to hate you. They are not doing it with their senses. You may need to look beyond them and stop keeping malice with them and begin to fight what is behind them. How can a helper become a hater overnight? What is talking to that helper against your life? It is a spiritual battle. If you understand it under fire, how can a suitor become someone that does not want to pick your call again? What is going on behind the scene? How can a business that was thriving all of a sudden becomes a business that is failing? Let somebody turn the fire. 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 Somebody lift up your right hand and say, Today, whatsoever that is going on behind the scene over my life, wherever you are, can you turn the fire? Turn the fire. 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 Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. If you had time, would have prayed. But I came to let you know, let every scale on your eyes, let it drop off right now. Let it drop off right now. People of God, Madi Balasha, the devil is fighting the destinies of your children. Look beyond them. Stop blaming them. Stop telling them you are the reason. Go behind the scene and deal with what is behind the scene. Jesus looks at them and says, you show me wickedness, but I know it's not about you. I know you are flogging and spitting on me. I know it's not about you. I know the prostitutes are spitting on me. It's not about them. And he said, Lord, let me not misplace this battle. Lord, let me not fight what is not my battle. Lord, forgive them. It's not about them. People of God, one strategy of the enemy is to make you fight a battle that is not your own so that you can end up empty in destiny. Somebody shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire, shall fire. People of God, now you know. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they do. It's not exactly because of God speaking forgiveness over them. Whereas that is there, there's also a major threshold of understanding beyond who you are seeing, beyond who is rejecting you, beyond who doesn't like you, beyond the conspiracy at the office. What wants to frustrate you? Some of you are familiar with this that everywhere you go to, they conspire against you. Everywhere you go to, they hate you. Everywhere you go to, they try to block your way. Everywhere you go to, so Sir, at this point, would you still be blaming the people? At this point, would you still say they are the ones? As your amen will thunder, battles going on in the spirit against your life. If your amen will thunder as a warrior, I command, let them be broken right now. The louder your amen, the quicker your answer. I say, let them be broken right now. Let them be broken right now. Let them be broken. Now, Take your seat. Let's go to the second thing he said on the cross. Luke chapter 23 verse 43. Luke chapter 23 verse 43. People of God. This was them being on the cross. Jesus was on the cross. Nailed to the cross. Then the two male factors, if you not, don't, don't forget, the two thieves nailed on the cross. People of no, no, no. Let, 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 let's get a bit of clarity. Begin from verse 41. Be to begin from verse 41, let me give God's people um, clarity. Verse 40, if you don't mind. Verse 40. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. The next verse. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss and he said unto Jesus Lord remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom uh -huh. and Jesus said unto him verily I say unto thee today shall thou be with me in paradise people of God I want you to observe 
why was this man nailed to the cross? A bandit, am I correct? A rogue, am I correct? People of God, I'm sure before he was nailed, remember people were usually nailed in the open. And people of God, people will be parading up and down. As they will be parading the man, look at the thief, look at the thief, look at the thief. So as soon as that story was going round, somebody will quickly run back to their family and say, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, Kenneth, Kenneth was caught. Kenneth, sorry, if your name is Kenneth, I, I, I'm not referring to you. So, you, you know, Kenneth was caught while he was stealing and all that. And people of God, that is the story. It was going everywhere. But right on the cross, in the midst of a prevailing conversation about him, with the people he turns to jesus and says to him remember me when you are in paradise jesus turns to him and says to him today shall thou be with me in thy paradise so people of god understand that the opinions of people has not yet changed people of god they were still calling him a rogue a bandit, an armed robber. But Jesus is saying, I don't see you that way anymore. So their opinions will not affect where I am taking you to. I didn't speak to everyone. The way they feel about you will not affect what I'm about to do in your life. The lies they have told about you will not affect the new thing I'm about to do in your life. If you believe it, can you turn that a louder? Amen. Can you scream a better? Amen. Can you shout a better? Amen. Somebody say, Today I raise my hands to the God that will not consult men. He in order to bless me, if you believe it, thunder a louder, amen. Let your amen thunder. Let your amen thunder. I just keep hearing today. I hear, keep hearing today. I just keep hearing today. I just keep hearing today. Lift up your two hands. Can I pray for someone today? Let there be a mind blowing wonder in your life. You did not hear me. I said, let there be a mind blowing turn around. Let it happen today. 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 Let your amen turn louder. Let your amen rise higher. Cause somebody turn that today. Take your seat. Let me say this to you. The season when you are led to judgment find out their last conversation with jesus the season when you are led to tell other people they don't have a future by reason of their history you know i want you to find out what was their last conversation with jesus there are those carrying the file that has expired about your life. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. They are carrying file that has expired about your life. They didn't realize, keep Barasha, sir, if upon this order, don't let me, I, I, I didn't come down. I just want to finish this seven. People of God, do you know that if this male factor was not nailed to the cross, he will not have had a conversation with Jesus. There are some pains that God will allow to have some in-depth conversation which you will never have in pleasure. I didn't talk to everyone. There are times God allows pain for you to have conversations from your heart with the Lord. And the Barasuta Rebagida Basa. There are things God allowed for you to open your heart and say to God, Lord, please, this is me here. Help me, fix me. And this was coming from your heart. He was not one of those God. I want to let you know. I want to let you know, people of God, you could not even find your one because at this point, this conversation was coming from the heart. But if it were keep Adasha, if there was no pain, this guy will not connect. Am I communicating? But let me warn you again. When you are led to judge them, find out the last conversation they had with Jesus. Am I communicating? Kabarando Shadaya. You can imagine where the teaming population are saying he's guilty. He has also been nailed. But heaven is saying the last thing you know about them 
is not where they are right now the last thing you heard about them is not where they are right now the last thing you thought you know people of god you know some folks in this time if they heard when jesus said today shall that be with me in paradise they will just be asking has he returned the money that he he he, he, he stole from that other person has he has he fixed the house that he took from that person has he has he and jesus said i don't care did you hear what i just said right now if you understood it can you thunder a louder amen that amen is too weak for what God is about to do in your life. And people of God, we please, how many have I mentioned? Uh, two. So we go to the third one. John 19 verse 26. John 19 verse 26. John 19 verse 26. The Bible says, and when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, woman behold thy son the next verse then say it ye to the disciple behold thy mother and from that hour that disciple took her unto his own house i hope you realize what was going on here jesus was on the cross all of a sudden he looks at john the one he loved you remember john the one that when jesus will be talking he will carry his head place at the chest of Jesus what a, what an audacity Jesus will be addressing a whole crowd John will come you know that kind of familiarity John will come making himself look like it is him that Jesus loves more than the other and then he will put his head at the distance in fact at one point in time he was talking to Jesus with his head on the chest of Jesus and communicating directly with the Lord while the others stood there and they were watching but he didn't realize that love that the master showed him was an assignment. So later on, Jesus was going to see his mom and tell John, you see the way I loved you? Look at your assignment. My mother has become your assignment. I didn't love you so that you can gain a title. I didn't show you this love so that you can go down as one of I am that guy that Jesus has loved I am that guy you must understand every love I have showed you is for an assignment I need to repeat it one more time every love I have showed you is for an assignment all of a sudden Lord you opened my door for me if I showed you love is for an assignment Lord, you know, all of a sudden that deal just worked out like that. The Lord said, it worked out because it's for an assignment. All of a sudden, miracle money, like you said, enters your life. People of God, is for an assignment. All of a sudden, the Lord intervenes in an area you never believed he will intervene. He said to John, the one I love, the one I love, see my mom. And John understood the code without Jesus talking too much. And the Bible says from that day, Jesus' mother never went to his house, went to her house. John took the mother. And I came to let you know, you were loved for a reason. You were loved for a reason. Caban the soul. Let me say it again. You were loved for a reason. Some of you were loved to use your testimony to encourage other people. You were loved to spread love. You were loved to share love. You were loved to just look at someone and say to the person, God is coming through soon. And he said to John, look at my mom. The reason why you receive this love is just me. But unfortunately, we have a generation that is loved, but they are not ready to share their love. Am I communicating? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, pastor is talking to you. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you were loved to share love. If you believe it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Look at another neighbor, say, neighbor, you were raised to raise others. If you understand it, turn that louder. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, the door opened so that God can use you to open doors for others. If you understand it, can you turn that louder? Amen. Can you scream a better? Amen. Can you shout a better? Amen. And I want you to know that some people's doors 
may never open because they have not yet understood this thing about God did not make me a landlord of his resources he only made me a conduit people of God if you become the landlord of the resources of God when the resources deplete there will be no source of entrance but when you are a conduit it will always pass through you because God knows that he can trust you that it will reach others am I communicating I pray for you today may the Lord make you a conduit of his resources that amen is too weak for what God is about to do and then comes one of the heartbreaking ones as we move on Matthew 27 verse 46 Matthew 27 verse 46 that is number what number four and about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying Eli Eli lama sabatani that is to say my God my God why has thou forsaken me people of God this moment is so touching the weight of your sin was on him and the father could not even behold him the father turned his face away because there was so much rottenness there was so much impurity and the father could not look at him i know you know that that's why the father looked away but let me further let you know there's a level of field that the lord will see in a chosen one chosen yes bright destiny yes prophecy over his life yes there's a level of field the father will see on a mandated man and he will look away don't for it's easier to leave it on jesus but i want you to know now there's a level of field the lord can see on you and the father will look away let every man that name it the name of christ depart from iniquity make your mistakes but there is always a time to wake up and say lord i am done Am I communicating? Lord, I am done. The father looked away. I can't behold. This is my son. You sent me on this assignment. You told me, Lord, why are you looking away? Why are you looking away? And he says, listen, even though I sent you on this, I can't bear it. I can't look at you anymore. I can't because you are carrying what is not consistent with my nature. Don't forget this. Your, what you're carrying is not consistent with who I am. And so I'm going to look away. I'm going to look away. People of God, you know one thing about God? It's not when God looks away will be when your generation has found out that he has looked away. There are generations, there are people who the Lord has looked away from. We will discover it in another two years. Lift up your two hands. Can you shout the blood of Jesus? Can you say it again like you really mean it? Can you turn down the blood of Jesus? But people of God, the very exciting thing about it all is that I know that the weight of my sin was on him. He did carry it. I know that the weight of everything you did wrong was on him. He didn't give it to another person. I know that the weight of your shame, of your distress was upon him. People of God, he carried it. Sir, between you and I, you sent me on an errand. And I'm doing the errand. And then all of a sudden, you removed your face from me. What will you do? Now you send me. Now I am doing the same thing that you sent me on. Then you turn around and say, no, the, the assignment I sent you is so filthy. I can no longer talk to you. I can no longer, what you, I asked you to do is too bad that I can't look at you. He is the son of God. He could have removed the nails. And come down and say let us renegotiate it do you understand what i'm saying you can't send me somewhere and then you decide if jesus came down from the cross hi if he came but even when the father has turned away from him 
he understood his purpose let me speak to everyone not everybody will look in your direction but never forget the reason why you came can i say it one more time not even those you expect to validate you will invalidate you but don't forget the reason why you came even those you expect in your moment of glory let them clap for you Shakam, they will not clap but don't forget the reason why you came am i communicating don't forget the reason why you came i want you to put your purpose right before you i want i, I need you to understand if jesus came down from the cross what would peter say all of the things he had told them about is that what will they say in moments where they look away from you don't forget the reason why you came if you understood it can you say it louder amen. amen and people of god john chapter 19 we're getting closer john chapter 19 verse 28 and that's the fifth one john chapter 19 verse 28 after this jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished that the scripture might be fulfilled say it i thirst people of god the reason why he said this was not exactly because he's thirsty was because the scripture must be fulfilled are you getting what i'm saying and this is the pathway to redemption don't forget that the end part of it is redemption but part of the fulfillment of the scripture was i test not because he was thirsty, but so that the scriptures in itself might be fulfilled on the pathway to redemption. Let me say, there are some things that look anti-God in your life right now. I want to let you know, it is part of the fulfillment of God's word for your life. So that at the end of it all, it will make your story more colorful. Lift up your right hand if you understood what I said. And declare after me. Say today. I decree and declare. Every negativity around my life. Will fulfill the word of God. Over my life. If you understand it. Turn that louder. Amen. Can you scream a better amen. Can you shout a better amen. Let your amen turn the louder. So sir. Even the thirst was in fulfillment of the word of God. Even the seeming negativity was in fulfillment of the word of God. Even what seemed not to be working was in fulfillment of the word of God. Even what looked like it was checkered was in fulfillment of the word of God. Even what looks like it was a hiccup was in fulfillment of the word of God. I came to encourage you. It, must, it may not look like it right now, but I want you to know it's on the pathway to the fulfillment of the word of God. Am I communicating? Somebody help me say the word of God has been fulfilled in my life can you turn it again say the word of God has been fulfilled in my life can you say it again say the word of God has been fulfilled in my life if you believe it can you turn it louder amen can you shout a better amen let your amen turn the louder and I want you to be encouraged if God has said it you're not the one writing script for yourself but like we already know how it will end that I test is part of the suspense I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. People of God, it has already been concluded. And I often will say this again and again. If you've ever seen a movie that has a lot of suspense and you know how it ends or how it is going to end as it were, you find your friend watching the same movie, being on the edge, getting scared, look like he's panicking and all of that and you're in the room. People of God, half of the time, you're going to be looking at her or him and you're going to be laughing. And you're going to be smiling and you're going to be and because most of the time when they are trying to shoot at the protagonist and all and he shout ah they don't kill this guy they don't kill this guy they don't kill this guy you will turn and tell him the guy did not eventually die all this one that you are seeing right now you know eventually that is what is going on in your life sometimes it looks like oh my god oh my god they are targeting me though they are targeting me people of god me i know how the story ended me, I don't watch the film before you. And I know that it ended with a testimony. I know that it ended with a sound of joy. I know that it ended with mega dances. If I spoke about you, let your amen shock your neighbor. 
somebody talk back to me and say no matter what is going on uh, say the word of God uh, he's been fulfilled in my life uh, let your amen silence the devil let your amen silence the devil let your amen rise let nobody judge you by what is going on the script right out of your destiny said it will end in joy and let nobody criticize you because of your mistake or failure the script right out of your destiny said it will end with dances it will end in celebration if you understand it lift up your right hand and turn that the word of god has been fulfilled in my life if you believe it turn that louder amen john chapter 19 verse 20 as i get ready to tidy up and that is the sixth one john chapter 19 verse 20 the bible says this title read many of the jews for the place where jesus was crucified was nigh to the city and it was written in hebrew and greek and latin yes then said um shall find me it is finished find me it's finished anywhere that you find it is finished in that scripture find it it is finished you don't know it too you were not informed when jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said it is finished and people of god i want you to know that I love the meaning of it is finished from the original Greek. That it was a, and it is the test the lie. Or let me call it exactly the way it is. Te te less die. Somebody repeat after me. Say te te less die. Say it again like you mean it. Say te te less die. Say it again te te less die. It means, number one, doing something that its effect is not just at the time it is done its effect affect before it was done and after it was done so when jesus said it is finished he went back in time and went forward in time now this is what it is the merchants during the bible times always the greek merchants would usually use the word tetelestai and they used it most of the time to pay for things they were yet to receive so just like a check they will write a check not the one that will bounce they will write a check pay for things already so merchants who were very wealthy paid for goods five years in advance some paid for 10 years in advance and what will be written on the check will be tetelestai in other english written on the receipt will be tetelestai and what it means is that you can go for as long as you want to take goods that has already been paid so sir at this point Jesus looked at every one person and he said can I already pay in advance one day affliction might want to rise but may I pay already before it arises so whatever it is I have already paid Am I communicating? I have already paid. And so, ooh, this is something that you need to come to terms with. So, the lie you are yet to tell. He, uh, he has already paid for it. Not that you should go and lie but this is how he looks at you and your frailties and your weakness and everything about you he said let me pay already before anything goes wrong how can i be sick he has already paid how
how can my family be under oppression he has already paid how can things go wrong around me he has already paid so when he stood on the cross and screamed it is finished he's saying by what i have done now i am canceling what was done before and i am moving into the future to ensure the efficacy of what i have done right now so sir imagine let me give you a story I, I, i'm not sure i've shared this story i mean many years ago there was a woman who was given a lift by a man so mama was old have i shared this story here okay i haven't shared the story so mama was old and then she was coming back from a farm and a man gave mama a lift and mama entered the car and mama was carrying you know what they bring back from farm carrying those heavy load and all that and entered the car as soon as mama entered the car after a while the guy who was driving turned back and saw that mama was still carrying the thing that she carried from the farm and spoke to mama and said no mama no i gave you a leave because of what you are carrying and mama said no my son you will not carry me and carry my load at least carry one just carry me while i carry my load this is how some of us react when the lord say it is finished he say lord it is finished here but it has not finished there let me still try and see how i can figure it out and the lord says no when i said it is finished i actually mean it is finished all i need you to come is paradaha when you meet a situation when they ask you how do you know that it has been paid present my blood that is your receipt present my blood present my blood and you know what it is not a silent blood it's a talking blood the bible says it is the blood that speaks better things than the blood of him so my blood speaks my blood speaks don't let me people of god don't let me many years ago i spoke on the speaking blood but then again this blood is constantly speaking and that is why over the years it has spoken for the oppressed it has spoken for the guilty it has spoken for people of god the bible said that even jesus right now is at the right hand of the father making intercessions for us and you know what he's making intercession based on the blood Somebody say it's already been paid. Somebody help me shout again. Say it's already been paid. Can you thunder it again? Say it's already been paid. Shout it again. Say it's already been paid. If you understand it, thunder it louder. Amen. And some of you understand it well. When somebody gives you a voucher, maybe gives you a shop right voucher, and then all you need to go there is to go and pick as much as the voucher can contain. He's given you the voucher. And said, live the life of dominion. Live the life of laughter. Live the life of... So, and then some of you enter into the supermarket of destiny. And then you are looking around again. And say, yeah, I cannot, I can, I cannot collect... Uh, uh, I cannot collect... Uh, what are those household things again? Eh? Eh? I, can, I, I cannot collect... Uh, blender i cannot collect a, um, a spoon i cannot collect i don't have enough money for it i don't have enough money and the lord keeps asking you when has it become about you i said i already paid present what i have done and you will get what you are looking for and every day you want to assess your life by what you have and what you don't have i don't even have enough money so i won't even go for such things i've not even reached that level so i won't even apply for such jobs i won't even talk to that man i am not qualified to be in his presence i will not even send that sms they will turn me back and the lord said how do you want to pay when i have already Hey, somebody look at your neighbor say I have the voucher that's a wrong neighbor leave that neighbor say I have the receipt say it's already paid it's already paid if you believe it thunder it louder amen 
so don't criticize those who look at you and tell you you are not all that they are right all those who look at you and say who do you think you are they are right those who look at you and say he's not even smart they are right all those who say what is your family background like they are right all those who say he is just wearing suit for nothing they are right all those who say she's just doing guy for nothing they are right because you know what i am not the one i'm enjoying what has already been paid am i communicating on a normal level if they bring her out and bring me out she will not compete with me in any way they are right they are they are very right because on a normal day you cannot compete with them but unfortunately for them it has already been paid am i communicating her english is bad she cannot speak good english i don't even know why all the men like her with all her bad english you are correct but what you don't know is that it has already been paid look at your neighbor say it's already been paid shall they say it's already been paid if your amen will turn down i announce receive your evidence of what has been paid i say receive the evidence of what has been paid receive the evidence receive the evidence receive the evidence let your amen turn the louder that cancer cannot stay it has already been paid who did i speak to that affliction in your body cannot stay it has already been paid if your amen will turn down, let there be an instant testimony right now let there be an instant testimony right now it is too late to be a failure people like us don't fail in life it has already been paid anybody that says that god will not remember you in this season the person came too late it has already been somebody shouted it has already been paid it has already been paid let your amen turn the louder and when they ask you why are you so confident why are you all so 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 full and and confident that it has already been done remind them it has already been paid it's already been paid why are you smiling everybody's getting frantic about their future the way things are going on in this office but somehow there is peace there's peace you can't explain remember to remind them it has already been paid people like us don't fail i feel like somebody needs to be prophetic right now would you rise on your feet meet 10 persons meet 10 persons shout in their ear it has already been paid tell them it's already been paid 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 if you believe it let a believer give the lord a loud shout and finally we go to the book of luke chapter 23 verse 46 luke 23 verse 46 and that is the last word and when jesus has cried with a loud voice he said father into thy hands i commend my spirit and having said thus he gave up the ghost the bible says our spirit and the spirit of god bear it witness that we are the sons of god people of god the spirit itself bear it witness with our spirit and before jesus died jesus said into your hands i commend my spirit boom into your hands i place my spirit uh, let me ask you where was his body eh? where was his body his body was on the cross where was his spirit eh? 
was where? We just read it now. We just read it now. So my spirit, into your hands I commend my spirit. I'm putting my spirit in your hands. My spirit is joining you, is meeting you where you are. My spirit is arriving. But where was the body? On the cross. Now, on the day that Jesus resurrected, and then those women came, where did they find the body? Eh? And when we pray and say, begin to walk around, see yourself walking there, see yourself marching in there, and people of God, in the realm of the spirit, you are not restricted. The problem with some of you is that some places you are trying to apply in, your spirit has not entered there first. Am I communicating? Some cities you want to take over. People of God, your spirit has not entered. I don't know how to explain and break it down. But most times, if your spirit can move, your body will catch up later. Am I communicating? Jesus said, Baradishaha. Labor, my body might be here, but my spirit will take a journey first. When the journey is done in the spirit, then my body will meet up to where my spirit is. Kibaradasha, what do you tell your spirit? Who does your spirit know that you are? Who does your spirit know that you are? Every word that settles in your spirit, your body will become it. Every prophecy that is internalized in your spirit your body will play a catch up your body will be coming most of the time you want to drag your body along and your body is where all the thinkings and all the will all the evaluation all your thinking all that's where it is oh my goodness oh my goodness this thing pastor is saying declaring that will happen in 24 hours how will it happen how will it happen how will it happen 24 hours hey 24 hours pastor shift it make it three days pastor shift it make it three days by then i will have some small hope and all of that you want to drag your body along when all your spirit should say is amen let your spirit move first your body will catch up am i communicating look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor say neighbor that was the wrong neighbor leave that one get in the face of another and tell that one say neighbor say neighbor say move first say let your spirit move first say your body will play a catch up if you understand it can you turn that louder amen can you scream amen amen would you rise on your feet wherever you are as your two hands are lifted I announce by reason of this morning let unimaginable doors open over your desk let every fallow ground be broken up by reason of this morning whatever that is not of God in your life I command let them die right now let them die right now let them die right now let your amen thunder for he said in his first word father forgive them because they don't know what they do today I decree signifying that it was more spiritual than physical any spiritual battle I command let it end around your life let it end around your life let it end around your life let your amen thunder let your conversations with Jesus let it change the trajectory of your life let your amen thunder may you receive the grace to spread the love the Lord has shown you spread the love that the Lord has shown you let your amen thunder no matter what the enemy has written it will lead to the fulfillment of the the prophecy over your life let your amen thunder let your amen thunder i announce it has already been paid in full it has already been paid in full it has already been paid in full let your amen thunder let your amen thunder let your amen thunder wherever your spirit has got into as your amen will thunder let your body play a catch up let your amen thunder louder Every healing that your spirit has received, let it manifest in your body. Every deliverance your spirit has received, let it manifest in your body. Every promise you hold on to in your spirit, let there be a physical manifestation. Let there be a physical manifestation. Let there be a physical manifestation. Let, a physical manifestation. let your amen under seven times. I decree it is done. I decree it is done. 
wherever you are with you get your communion Today we pray over every liquid that you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the very blood of Jesus. We pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the flesh of Jesus. Let the blood that speaks better things than the blood of righteous Abel, this speaking blood, let it speak. Let us speak. Let us speak. If your amen will thunder, the days of your shame are over. I see a growth in your mouth that is disappearing right now. Kabaron de Shalaya. They are telling you something about your loved one and sepsis. By the power of God, I decree, let it be reversed right now. You had a major setback in 2020 in your business that you have not recovered from. As your amen were turned down, I send April and May on assignment. Let it be for your restoration. Let it be for your restoration. For the Lord is showing me mercy over that exam. For the Spirit of God said to me about someone, you came to the last stage and you got finally stuck. But today there's a release coming. People think you know what you're doing. But you've come to a place where you really don't know what next to do. You don't know what else. You are living life. Things are working. But you, you want a plan. You want a direction. You know, you want to, God, what, what next thing? How do I go about it? As your amen were turned on, let the Lord provide you with a direction. You had an, an, an appendix surgery. From the surgery side, Kabaroshi Arabaha, kind of every now and then, pulse will come out. I decree let it be reversed right now I don't know who you are but the Lord said talk less and the Lord said I have told you about this many times the more you talk the more you dissipate power the Lord said talk less talk less talk less talk less you are not like the others talk less there's a strange atmosphere of grace around your life that is about to manifest in this season mantle of distinctions are fallen a kurabasha mantle that will distinguish you from the others they are fallen they are fallen they are fallen they are falling right now 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 receive it of the lord i decree it is done father thank you for what you've done go ahead and eat of the flesh of jesus And drink of the blood of the new covenant. We decree it is done. Wherever you are, put together your offerings, your tithe, and your partnership, and lift it up before the Lord. The account details of the church are on the screen. So go ahead and put together your offerings.
raise it before God. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God. So I implore you that you rise on your feet. Once your name is not assistant Jesus, please rise on your feet wherever you are. With your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. And make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Make it a wave offering. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with your offerings, their tithes, and their partnership be your portion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Go ahead and drop your offerings your tithes and your partnership. Hallelujah. People of God, I really want to let you know that in this season, it is important that I make this known to you about Sunday service. So I need you to realize that our family breakthrough service is happening on Sunday. I thought you were going to be celebrating the Lord for how the Lord is already going to visit you and your family. Please come with the pictures of your family members and come with them to church on Sunday. And remember to also come with the prayer point of your family members. It's going to be hot, 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 hot. Fire will jump fire. And it's also Resurrection Sunday. It's happening in all our four services. All dedications and thanksgiving are scheduled for the fourth service on Sunday night of April. All the singles here, I hear that you people are having a hangout on Saturday. Yeah, that is tomorrow. Games and chill. Saturday at by 8 a.m. at the Jabi Lake Park. Alex Equipment Drive. Please take note of it. Our second anniversary is here. Celebrate the Lord if you love the Lord like I do. And it's happening on the 16th of April. Please don't forget that the dress code is simply, um, cannot be simply, it's sophisticatedly, extravagantly ethnic. Remember to pick up testimony forms within the week so you will be scheduled to testify in church on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Who was today's service meant for? Help me rise on your feet and look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor he's already been paid in full. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor, wherever your spirit gets to, your body must play a catch-up. If you understand it, thunder it louder, amen. amen. As your two hands are lifted before the Lord, I decree may your best days begin to bust out. Amen. You have been remembered of the Lord. Amen. Multiple doors are opened over your life. Nothing missing and nothing broken. With your two hands lifted before the Lord, declare after me, say, I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. I am saying of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Now with what you know right now, walk up to 30 persons and scream in their ear, It is finished!